guys, it's me Alexandra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for today's video is I'm going to share to you my performance task in math. So, let's get started. So, we have here the keywords and the design I chose to make, which is obviously a makeup brushes. So, I will show you the keywords written on each brushes. So, I will tell you why I chose this design because my hobby is doing makeup. I love doing makeup by myself, on myself. So, that's why I chose this design. So, the materials I used in making this uh, keywords in a creative way, I used one folder only and I printed some pictures of a makeup brushes that is used to design this uh, performance task. So, the Google Live Ikana, diba? So, I searched some photos on Google and make this the uh, design for my keywords, my performance task. So, that's it. So, the first keyword is discriminant so the brush that is used in this <laughs> roots keyword roots so this is obviously a brush brush for you can use this on quadratic formula so it's a little brush here that is that's it the quadratic formula brush next is sum and product of the roots so this is also a little brush that's used for uh, blending the makeup products on your eyelids like eyeshadow and whatever is the sum and product of the roots brush next is the quadratic equations quadratic equations brush is also used for um, highlighter so this is the factoring brush used for putting highlighter next is by the method called extracting square roots so the extracting square roots is one method that is used in solving quadratic equations so there are three properties used in this method these are so first we have property one so this is the property one here we'll put it here so if r is greater than 0, then x squared equals r has two real solutions or roots. So example for this one is x squared minus 25 equals 0. So you need to write this equation into the form of x squared equals r. So we have x squared equals 25. So you just need to add the both sides by 25 so that you can put 
you, you can rewrite it to the form of x squared equals r. So, x squared equals 25. x equals positive or negative. Square root of 25 is, you will have the roots of the equation. We have x sub 1 equals 5 and x sub 2 equals negative 5. So, that is the solutions or roots for property 1, for the equation number 1. So, property 32, if r is equal to 0, then x squared equals r has one real solution or root. So, example for this one is t squared equals 0. So, since it, so since it is written already in x, r, x squared equals r, so you need to get the square root of 0. So, the answer is t equals 0. It has only one solution or root. So, the next property is property 3. If r is less than 0, then x squared equals r has no real solutions or roots. An example for this one is x squared plus 2 equals 0. So, you need to change it in the form of x squared equals r. So, we have x squared equals negative 2. Since the r is equal to negative 2, which is less than 0, it has no real solutions because there is no real number that gives negative when squared. Again, since r is equal to negative 2, which is less than 0, it has no real solutions because there is no real numbers that gives negative when squared. So that's our video for today. I hope you like and enjoy it.